going to show you a soft tissue technique for the quadratus femoris muscle, that tiny little muscle down deep in the glute on the lateral hip. We call that one a sprinter's muscle. It's very much involved with power extension from a hip flex position, but it's also a really strong external rotator. Its orientation through the hip is pretty similar to the piriformis, the way it runs almost horizontally from the femur in towards the pelvis. So it's a, an external rotator of the hip and it can get very, very tender. We also have the sciatic nerve which runs out across the top of that, so we need to be a little bit careful with our compression that we don't get any neurological symptoms with it. It's often a muscle a lot of therapists forget to treat, but when you hit it and you get the trigger point on it, or if it's really tight and you change that tension, it can make a big difference for the person's hip function and range of motion. So we'll have a look at a technique for that. So for this one, what we need to do is take that leg up into, or the knee up into 90 degrees of flexion. We're going to use that as a lever. If we roll that leg out to the side into internal rotation, that puts a stretch or lengthens quad femur. So quad femur attaches to the lateral surface of the great trochanter and it comes medially across onto the pelvis there. So it's a very long muscle, but it's very strong. So by doing this one, we create some length in that tissue. So what I'm going to do here is use my thumb. You can use a knuckle, you can use an elbow, whatever you like. For the purpose of this demonstration, I'll use my thumb so you can see a bit more clearly. We go and compress the tissue, apply a little stretch to it, and then we can roll that leg out to the side to get some stretch. So it's like a pin and stretch technique. Pinning it out like that. Rolling that leg out, stretching the tissue. You can also apply a little bit of an internal rotation to the hip and then dropping onto the tissue and apply a cross fiber friction technique. Also another great way to release some tension on it. Or you can drop an elbow into it if the patient can handle the compression and then rotate from there. Okay, so that's our quadratus femoris. Great muscle to change uh, ability for range of motion improvement and uh, freedom of movement through the hip.